WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the 1 p.m. update. Uh, currently, we've got the Dow. We've got a mixed market out here. Uh, mixed from the standpoint is the Dow and the, S and the uh, semiconductor index that are trading to the upside. Semiconductors just slightly up three points. That's about two tenths of a percent. Really, quarter percent uh, for the Dow. That's trading up 68 points. Whereas the other indices are in the green or in the red out here. You got the S&P off four, NASDAQ 100 down uh, 35. That's off four tenths of a percent. Russell down six tenths of a percent, about 950. Um, you've got the spot volatility index, which is up 45 cents. It's about a three, uh, three and a half percent move to the upside, but still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. Gold is flat; it's up a buck. Silver's flat; it's up two pennies. Light sweet crude is 34 cents to the upside. So let's take a look at the indices, see what they're doing. Uh, even with the Dow moving higher out here, what it hasn't done with any kind of conviction is broken. Uh, an ascending trend line out here. If we take a look at the highs, and then we're looking at a daily time frame chart, folks, right now of the Dow, we just simply connect the high from back in 2018 to the high in 2019. It'll create a little bit of a, a rising trend line out there. And therefore, what you and I can conclude is that even though we've had the Dow uh, making new all time highs, it might have been two weeks ago when it was doing it, or closing a new all time high, what it hasn't done is broken out. For me, price would have to break above this level, come back, retest it, then continue to resume higher to say that it has broken out. If we take a look at the S&P 500, down three points, so just a flat move if we speak, but still the S&P 500, which did make a new all-time high, which did close at a new all-time high on Friday, still has not broken out. Again, here we're, again, connecting the touch points, the high from back in 2018, January the 26th, to the high out here that was generated back on September 21st, 2018. If you draw that same trend line, that is resistance. So we've got the S&P and the Dow up at resistance. Slightly different story when we take a look at the NDX 100. So when we take a look at it, it has broken above its 2018-29 trend line resistance level. And for all intents and purposes, uh, it broke above this, came back, looked to be a false breakout. Then we got another move uh, above that level on July 24th. And today, really, price is pulled back to that same area. However, with regard to the NDX 100, it's going to really be important about the close. Right now, we've got a bearish reversal candle. If that holds into the close, it confirms Stevie's Rhodes Momentum Indicator Top, suggesting that it'll pull back to 77.35 wonder if it's foretelling what Apple's going to do tomorrow afternoon. Folks, thanks so much for being here.